All right, this is the uh, PVA particle motion velocity graph practice problem uh, for sections 4.3, 4.5. A uh, particle moves horizontally so that its velocity uh, at any time between 1 and 9 is given by the differential function v and the graph is shown above. Uh, the velocity is 0 at t is equal to 1, 3, 7, and 9. So here we're looking at velocity graph, so um, when it crosses the x-axis, that's where velocity is zero. And uh, horizontal tangent at two, five, and eight. So um, slope is zero at this point, this point, and also at this point. Okay, area of the regions are bounded, two, three, and six. Position function is called x, and at t equals one, x of one is equal to two. So that's our starting point. Uh, two, three, and six, these are the areas, but our um, uh, definite integral values are going to be um, positive and negative de depending on whether they are above or below the x-axis, so I just fill those in. Okay. For part A, create sign line for V of T. So for V of T, anything below the x-axis represents um, uh, where my velocity is negative. Positive velocity, negative velocity, so I just fill those in with my critical points as my x-intercepts. Okay. Acceleration is where uh, the slope of my velocity is either positive or negative. So in this region, this is negative, uh, uh, slope is becoming more negative, so I know that I have negative acceleration here from 1 to 2. From 2 to 5, I look at my slope. Um, my velocity is becoming more positive, so acceleration is positive here. From 5 to 8, negative velocity, uh, negative acceleration. And then from 8 to 9, positive acceleration. Okay, for part B, um, what interval is the velocity negative? So velocity will be negative, we just read the sign lines, right? From 1 to 3 and then from 7 to 9 simply because V of T is negative less than 0. Okay, part C, uh, what interval is acceleration positive? We just read our sign line here from 2 to 5 and 8 to 9 simply because V prime of T is greater than 0 or you can say A of T is greater than 0. Okay, part D. On interval five and between five and seven, the speed is the speed of the particle increasing or decreasing. So, um, give reason for answer. This is where we have to compare our signs between velocity and acceleration if we want to determine increasing or decreasing speed. So, between five and seven, let's look. Between five and seven, uh, velocity will be positive, but acceleration will be negative. So, we're going to have decreasing speed simply because our velocity is, ne uh, is positive, acceleration is negative, opposite signs indicate decreasing speed. Okay. On the interval between 7 and 8, is the speed of the particle increasing or decreasing? So between 7 and 8, velocity is negative. Between 7 and 8, acceleration is also negative. So we have increasing speed because velocity is negative, acceleration is negative. So whenever you have same signs between velocity and acceleration, you'll have increasing speed. Okay, part F. Find the position of the particle at t equals 3, 7, and 9. So if I want to find x of 3, then I need to know, if I want to find the position at 3, I need to know where my starting position is. So um, the problem tells us our starting position, x of 1 is equal to 2. Okay. So if I want to find my starting, if I want to find how much, um, where my location is after t is equal to 3, then I say x of 1 plus the definite integral of v of t dt from 1 to 3. Okay, so if I look at my graph from 1 to 3, my graph, um, um, I will have traveled negative 2, um, uh, so I can think of it as going um, 2 units uh, to the, in the opposite direction, in the negative direction. So if that's the case, 2 plus negative 2 will be 0. Okay. If I want to find my, my position at 7, um, I, I left off at x of 3. I know what x of 3 is. So x of 3 plus the area from 3 to 7 under the v of t curve. So if I look at my graph underneath my v of t curve, uh, between 3 and 7, I will get positive 3. So I'm going to add that to x of 3. So x of 3 is 0 for my previous result. 0 plus 3 is equal to 3. Okay, x of 9, to find my position at 9, I left off at x of 7, and then I just need to add 
the area or the, uh, the area underneath the curve, the integral uh, between 7 and 9. So between 7 and 9, definite integral is negative 6. So I just simply add that to my previous x sub 7. So x sub 7 plus uh, the area uh, or the definite integral from 7 to 9 would be 3 plus negative 6, which is negative 3. Okay, state the absolute extrema and the key value where they occur. So this is kind of this is a uh, extreme value theorem um, uh, application where our absolute extrema will occur at our um, endpoints or our critical points. So our endpoints are one and nine. Our critical points are three and seven. So we just compare those four ordered pairs to see which will produce the highest and lowest um, uh, values for function. So we know x sub one is two x sub 3 is 0, x sub 7 is 3, x sub 9 is negative. So we see the smallest value is negative 3, so absolute min at negative, at negative 3, where key is equal to 9. And absolute max will occur at 3, where key is equal to 7. Okay. Uh, part H, find the total distance. So distance is simply um, the absolute value of V of T. So from 1 to 9, we are going to make all the uh, uh, keep all the areas positive, so 2 plus 3 plus 6 gives us 11. To find the total displacement, we have to keep track of the negatives, so we have, um, uh, but we're going, only going to go from 3 to 9, so positive 3 plus negative 6 is negative 3. Okay, part J, sketch the graph below, so we have the order pairs that's given to us, which is 1, 2, okay, from part F we also found 3, 0, Okay, 7, 3, and then finally 9, negative 3. Okay. Uh, from the sign line that we created from uh, part A, I just put all those on the same sign line. Okay. Uh, attach negatives and positives for each interval. And negatives would, is, ne is uh, negative slope for velocity, and negatives and positives will be indicated by concavity for acceleration. Okay. So then I just connected all the points um, using the properties of slope and also concavity. So concave down, followed by concave up, concave up, concave down, concave down, and then concave down all the way to 8, and then finally from 8 to 9, concave up. Okay. 